the Seattle Seahawks gave that away for free on Sunday. It's essentially a choose-your-adventure from the Week 2 loss to the Tennessee Titans, if fans want to pick a penalty that cost the game, they can make an argument from about five different options. While technically the referees might have cost Seattle the game, in almost every instance, they were simply doing their job. Pete Carroll said in the post-game conference that he had nothing to say about the calls themselves, simply that the team needed to do better. Early Monday morning, however, Carroll offered a closer look. In his interview on 710 AM ESPN, Carroll said that the bench can be a coach's ally, and brought up the Jordan Brooks penalty. On what led to a touchdown drive, Brooks was flagged for unnecessary roughness on a late hit out of bounds. It's the correct call, and an idiot play. Both receiver and Brooks were out of bounds by 5 feet before Brooks finished with an extra shove. The play before was second and 12th from the C43 yard line. Carroll said that was the moment when they couldn't let it keep going. Unfortunately, it didn't solve the rest of the team's issues and the Seahawks continued to blow their biggest halftime home lead in franchise history. But the takeaway is that head coach Pete Carroll noticed, and responded in-game, to an erroneous trend by his team. This is the very thing that he has been accused of not being able to do. Now, it didn't help, at least in the outcome, but there is silver lining in all of this. DK Metcalf had a bad game, Carroll said he's talked with him. Brooks got boneheaded, Carroll responded. Russell Wilson had a personally challenging week with the death of his best friend, Carroll spent time with him this week.